Welcome to Electron Online. In the previous video, we showed you that the product rule for logarithms works with a simple example. But we can also prove that it works, and here we're going to work on that proof. So we're going to start out with a equals 10 to the m and b equals 10 to the n. So that is what we call the exponential form. Now let's convert that into the logarithmic form. This can then be written as follows. This can be written that m, we take the exponent, which is equal to the log base 10 of a. And over here, we can write this as n is equal to the log base 10 of b. Now, of course, the log of base 10, that's called a common logarithm. We don't need to write base 10. We can simply write it as follows. We can write it that m is equal to the log of a, and we can write that n is equal to the log of b. All right, now let's take the product of a and b. So a times b, well, that is equal to 10 to the m times 10 to the n. Now here the bases are the same, which means we can add the exponents, so this can be written as 10 to the m plus n. Now again, what we have here is we can write that a times b is equal to 10 raised to the m plus n power. Again, we have, just like we had over here, the exponential form, which we can then convert into the logarithmic form. So this can then be read, written as m plus n, we take the exponent, which is equal to the log of the base 10 of what we have over here, which is a times b. And again, we don't have to write log to the base 10, we simply write log, so we can write that, and let me put over here, that m plus n is equal to the log of a times b. Now, m is defined over here as the log of a, and n is written as the log of b. So we can write this as the log of a plus the log of b is equal to the log of a times b, and of course we can reverse the order, so we could write that the log of a times b is equal to the log of a plus the log of b. And so you can see that we have proven the prior rule for logarithms. It's kind of neat how that works, but there it is.